What's going on? I'm Alicia and I am going to take you through my daily skincare slash wellness slash hair care slash head wrap. Okay, so we're about to get into it and have a beautiful, beautiful time just connecting in our bathroom because like where else do you connect with people but in the bathroom is the best place. I usually get up pretty early. My husband's usually a little bit mad because I'm out of bed so early. He's like, where are you going? I might do a meditation. I might do an early workout. I might just sit in some silence. And once all of that's done, I come into my bathroom and I love candles. I'm a candle fanatic. Um, I like my candle. And I believe in setting an intention. There's something about lighting something, um, something burning that's very sacred. And I will think about what it is that I would like for myself for the day. So let's say today I'm looking for clarity. I'm looking for peace. I want to have more patience because you know, I am doing a lot of the homeschooling for the kids right now. And it takes patience and sometimes I lose it. So I'll light that up and then I'll put it on the side. Boom. Then if I've been sweating because I did my workout or if I did my meditation, you have to wash the face. My favorite thing to use right now is osmosis. My skin kind of requires a little bit more strength when cleansing, right? So I get my little pump in as much as I want. I wet my hand, I lather it up, put it on my face, mm -hmm. this all lathery and everything. And um, it's all about going up on the skin and on the neck. So boom, I did that, deep cleaned it up, and I'm gonna wash it off. Okay, so now I'm back, washed it off. Feels good, I feel refreshed. I've always cared about skincare, but in a way that was very frustrated because I, I didn't always have good skin. I've learned some of the secrets and I've also found some products that work for me, because everybody's different, you know, and you gotta keep trying and you gotta keep finding what's what's good for you and it's cool. Sometimes it takes a minute. Like for me, it took quite a while. And one of the secrets that I definitely picked up was water. But for real, for me, I didn't really drink enough water. And I didn't even think about water to be a part of my skincare regimen. Water out of a big ass jug like this. <laughs> I call this my coconut. I wanna look like a little coconut. Next up, I actually love this a lot. Epicurean is one of my favorite brands. I was always fascinated that if you put probiotics on your face or your body, wherever you want, how good is that? So I love this mask, this aloe vera calming gel, which is awesome as well. Like I said, I'm always looking for something to calm, calm it all down. <laughs> I squirt it in my hand as much or as little as you want, you know? Right there, that's about how much I got. And then the mask, if you smell it, it's almost milky or something. It's very much of a powder. So you sprinkle it in there as much or as little as you want and you rub it together. And what I like about it is, first of all, it smells like there's food on your face. So you wanna eat yourself. And then second of all, um, it kind of has a little bit of a, um, grainy texture a little bit and something about that feels good sometimes when you want to just it's like an exfoliant but not really still a calming thing this I'll actually wait five minutes this morning maybe I'll wait 20 minutes okay dry it off pat dry again it's off now my skin feels really good I love this a lot it's called sacred rose water Mm, smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So basically, just spray your whole body like around a thousand times as much as you need it. And you take it in, you breathe it in, you smell it in. What I love about rose is that it's a heart opener. It's literally a heart opener, which is why, you know, one would give another person that they love roses. It really does open your heart. And don't we all need that? We just need to open your heart, open yourself, just be ready to receive all the good intentions. And then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rounding about the end of my kind of facial morning routine. 
Um, and I always like a good under eye something. So this one's really cool. And I like it especially because there's one for day and there's one for night. Who don't like, you know, just attention, things like that, I, I get into. Because a lot of times we're not even paying attention to under the eye, right? You know, my mother said the other day, she never put anything under her eye for like 100 years. She's not 100, but whatever. So I get it. And I feel like let's start now to get all of these areas going well. Finally, just a little bit of cream. So this, it really smells quite good and it's also a sunscreen. But for me, like I said, my skin is very, very sensitive. So I go very light, very light because cream sometimes can be, you know, a little bit heavy. This one is amazing though. We love sunscreen. We like to make sure our face has sunscreen on it. It's so good for you. And then you have to have a good lip ointment. Okay, y'all can't be around here with the dry lips. Not gonna be a good thing. So I love this one. Mmm, feels good. And I've also, you know, learned that certain things on the wellness side and on the intaking into your body side, um, I've, I've cut out dairy. And also, believe it or not, getting rid of the breads. Ugh, let me tell you, I'm the first person. I am a bread. Alcoholic. And then obviously the fried foods, the oil and all that in the skin is never really good. Okay, so that's the morning, that's the that's the routine, that's the wash, that's the feeling, that's the wellness, that's the goodness. Keep that going all day long as much as you can. Just take that time for yourself and you know, eat. and if you feel overwhelmed, if you get up to a part of the day and you just feel overwhelmed, escape to your bathroom and just take some breaths in. Exhale. Do that about 10 times. And we're gonna move on to my hair routine and how to how I wrap my hair. Because so many people have asked me, how do I wrap my hair? And um, I love head wraps, they're so beautiful. So what I do is first I you know take out my hair. I have a, a great oil that I use, and this one is Saharan Liquid Gold Argan Oil. Mmm, anything with argan in it, you feel good, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite oily, so it really depends on your hair type. My hair type works with things like this. You know, put it in, it smells really good. You can put as much as you want. Definitely get in on those ends. You know, get into it. And then you can take your brush. I love a hard brush. You know, just a really good, and you know, brush it, right? Just brush your hair, what's that? But they used to tell you like brush it a hundred times, a hundred strokes. Okay. <laughs> so brush your hair, stimulate your scalp, stimulate yourself where it feels good. I really love this hair mask. Been using that lately. Quite thick, which again, I love. So if you were in the shower, you'd be able to put it in. It smells good too. So good. My hair definitely, you know, takes a beating for sure. You know, but when I wear my hair in braids, you have to actually be really careful because a lot of times the braids are very heavy or they're very, very tight. I'll do cornrows, which are so beautiful, but they're very tight. And so it's like pulling your hair, pulling your hair all the time, all the time. And so I definitely noticed that the treatment, hair care treatment is definitely super important. First of all, to give it a break, and, and also just to really put some good nutrients in there. So yes, my hair has taken its share of a beating. And right now, it could use a trim, a cut. It could use a lot of stuff right now, but you know what? Here we are, and we're gonna do what we can do in our own little bathroom, and that's also good. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in all day because it's cool, and then at night, I'll wash it out, or in a couple of hours, I'll wash it out. And it's all right, it's just staying in there doing good stuff. So now that I did that, let me show you how to head wrap. Now I'm gonna flip over and get this up. Okay, I'm back, see? So you have to put the hair on the top of your head. As close to the top of your head as you can. It's one of the ways I like to do it. There's obviously many ways to do it. There's so many gorgeous ways to wrap your head. And it's such a beautiful tradition. So you brush all your hair up into the place 
you get it up on the top of that head and you find a good place, you know, like somewhere in the middle-ish right here, you know, cause you want it, I like it really high cause then the wrap will sit up and it you know, lengthens the neck and it kind of gives a nice shape. So that's what I'm doing. Boom. You're gonna take your hair tie and you're gonna put it in. Do it as tight as you can handle it, but don't kill yourself and don't kill your hair. Then I will basically do a basic bun. Um, the bigger your bun, the bigger the wrap at this portion. And I will just wrap another hair tie around it and then boom, it just kind of stays there, you know? So it doesn't have to be all special looking at this point, which is cool. Usually my choice is, this is kind of, this is not quite silk because if it's too silky, it falls off. So you, you have to get a scarf that's probably more cottony. Like this material is very, you know, it's not so slippery. So the less slippery the material, the better, or else you'll be tugging at your thing all day is a pain. Depends how big you want it. Um, if you want it a little bit smaller, go for the smaller scarf. If you want it a little bit bigger, go for the bigger scarf. With the smaller scarf, you're gonna fold it in a triangle. You know, like edge to edge, like that. Cool. You're going to put it on the back of your head, the long part and the triangle on the up part. And then you're gonna wrap it around the bun, like that. I'm gonna do the bigger one because that's what I'm in the mood for. The larger rectangular scarf, you're going to fold just in half. So it becomes like a smaller, you know, rectangle. And again, you're gonna start with this long side behind you. This is good, I never did this before. Oh my gosh, we're like sharing. We're like in our bathroom chilling. This is a real homegirl moment. I'm really feeling it. The long side that that is the folded part is gonna go behind my head. Then it's gonna get really long here. Okay, I'm gonna cross it over in the front. And then basically, I'm just going to wrap it around my head as many times as it can because this is what we want. We want it to start to get big. Literally, I'm tucking the edges inside. If you wanted it like this, you could totally go like this. But what I do is I grab a second scarf, not the short one, a long one. So now this is the larger square. And you know, the patterns are fun. You see how this pattern is, it's so cool. And the, the thing I love the most is when I, by the time I wrap it on my head, you have no idea what the color is gonna be or what's gonna feature, cause it's just, it's art. It's like a beautiful expression. Again, this long part that's been folded, I put it on the back of my head. I'm gonna grab this tight because I want it to stay put. Then I'm gonna take this part and my son actually put me onto this. You see how I pull this this way? So it's crossing and it crosses up right here. So you can give yourself like a, you know, almost like a turban vibe and, and, and up so that it has a beautiful triangle uh, shape on your face, which will help your eyes lift and you know, all the things that we want. My son came up with this. He actually told me to twist it, twist the two pieces so that it it could be more of like a, a braid, a twist of sorts. I twist them all the way to the bottom. And just And it stays because you pulled it really tight. You know, you're just thinking, oh, look at me. Even if I'm just gonna be able to walk around the block because I can't go anywhere. I'm still gonna be shiny. Take this, wrap it around. I tend to like it tight. I like that it kind of gets these beautiful shapes. I like that I can just do what I feel. This part is a little bit of the other scarf. I take the last little bit of this twist part and I literally just tuck it in. That's it. You see that? Ah! Oh, you do have to take your ears out because they get stuck. If you want extra security, 
you know it's just boom and then it becomes like whatever it becomes and it's just beautiful and you get to just be cool as hell i take another hair tie just a regular hair tie this one's big so it's you know you got to kind of stretch it and i literally just wrap it around like that tuck it in you can't see it anymore and then it stays all day all day all right well this is it my skin feels great i feel like I set my intentions, my head wrap is popping so I can just go do whatever I'm going to do. You know, right now I'm gonna go check on Egypt and make sure that he's doing his schoolwork. <laughs> so I'll check on him like this and feeling amazing. This is it, y'all. I'm so glad that we can connect. Sending you love, Mwah! bye.